I'm Dr. Carsten Müller and I work at the School of Biosciences in the College of Biomedical and Life Sciences at Cardiff University. My research focuses on uh, biologically active substances or what can a smell and a scent do, what has a function of it, but also what can be read and what information is in it. A current European project deals with profiles of volatile organic compounds, also known as VOCs, from melon and rocket. And in this project, we specifically look at shelf life and whether these profiles give any information about how long the product can be stored and aiming to reduce wastage and losses in the future. Past research projects were mostly based on the use of solid phase microextraction which is a very versatile and easy to use method, which is particularly important because I'm mostly collaborating with biologists and geneticists. The current UU project, Quafferty, brings together a long-term collaboration I have with Dr. Hilary Rogers here at Cardiff, and together with Marx International, who agreed to be full partners in this project, we were able to develop TD GCMS TOF to present an absolute ideal solution for the problems within this project. The key advantages of uh, this TD GC MS TOF are literally thermal desorption, which allows remote sampling. So the sample can be sampled at any time, the headspace or actively, without regard to when it will be analyzed, which is very different to SBME. The second is also thermal desorption because in theory, you can inject the total sample in one go, which increases sensitivity in its own right. But you also have a better dynamic range, because you can have in two injections, subsequent injections, one with a very high split for the most abundant compounds, and one with a very low split for the least abundant compounds. Again, some feature you can't do with SPME. The sampling process we developed for Rocket and Melon is very straightforward and simple. So first of all, the sample is put into what is essentially an oven baking bag and this is sealed around a cut-off Appendorf tube which acts as sampling port. The sample is then left for half an hour to equilibrate volatile organic compounds in the headspace after which the storage caps are removed from a sampling tube and in this case we actually use safe lock tubes which don't allow any diffusion onto the sampling material the tube is then connected to the sampling port, the Appendorf tube, and a grab sample is taken with an easy walk pump. The tube is then disconnected from the pump and the sampling port and sealed either with storage tubes, if collected anywhere, and sent back to Cardiff, or directly here made ready for being put into the thermal resorption equipment. The new instrument has opened up uh, several novel avenues it certainly will extend the reach and the number of projects in post harvest in collaboration with Dr. Hilary Rogers. There are different opportunities, completely different opportunities now to look at fungal interaction and volatile organic production involved there. And a novel area which is currently actually subject to an application is the smell of infection. The collaboration has brought my research capacity really up to the next level. Sensitivity and range and mobility of the sampling allows me to undertake projects now that haven't simply been possible before this collaboration started.